typically with any kind of sound therapy or any types of uh, treatment, you're going to potentially experience some increase in the level of the ranking. So even after the, your therapy is completed, the tinnitus can come back at times of significant stress. And when I say significant stress, I mean either psychological stress, so that you're, for example, upset about something, or physical stress. So for example, you get significant pain in part of your body, or you have an illness of some kind, and that's a stressor to the body. Anything that causes the stress reaction in the body will potentially make the tinnitus louder. So generally we recommend if you feel that the ringing has gotten louder, is that um, you try to do some active relaxation, uh, make sure that you're, you're sleeping well. If you need help with your sleep, you need to speak to your physician. Um, melatonin has been studied to, and been found to help with sleep in patients with tinnitus. So uh, reducing your stress is what, uh, critical. If you're using sound therapy, we want you to reduce the sound. If you're using music therapy, we want you to use softer music. And also it's important to know that at the end of any kind of sound therapy treatment, after the uh, couple hours of treatment that you're doing, is you have to gradually reduce the volume of the sound that you're listening to. And so that you taper down over about a five minute period, about 20% of the volume every minute to then stop the sound at that point. If you abruptly so stop sound therapy or music therapy, you can get what we call a rebound uh, in your tinnitus. It temporarily will increase and then it'll come down. Uh, the one thing I want you to make sure you don't do is don't concentrate and worry uh, about the fact that the tinnitus has temporarily increased in loudness because that will make it stay louder for a little bit longer.